right, this is Jackie, and I'm here with Cruel Hand on day two of Van Swarp Tour in San Antonio, dealing with a fun little rain delay, I'm trying to stay dry best we can. Uh, you guys have been together for 10 years now. What do you attribute to your band's longevity? Uh, I guess just uh, not being smart enough to just give it up and get a job. Yeah, just grind it out forever and ever. You guys must have a good friendship then. That, that's definitely helpful. Oh, yeah, you got to. You have to. How has your sound evolved from the, like 2007's Without a Pulse to the negatives and things that you're working on now? Uh, well, I guess we're just kind of, it's less polarizing, you know, we were strictly just playing traditional hardcore for a long time, and I think now we're kind of like, yeah, we're kind of evolving into more like rock influences and just kind of stuff like that, I guess, yeah. Um, so what are some benefits that you guys uh, are experiencing? You switched from uh, Bridge Nine to Hopeless. Uh, some things that you're working on now. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, it's different. It's a different level, you know, as far as labels, I'd say. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it just gives us the opportunity to do, like, things like this, you know. We've never even, you know, this would never have come, I think, without that step forward, you know, so... So what's your songwriting process like now? Well, uh, so the majority of the songs on the new record, Chris came in with them, probably had like seven or eight. And then we tweaked them a little bit in band practice, but mostly just learned them like straight up. And then we went into the studio and our producer, Dean, had a lot to input, which is really cool. So a lot of the songs kind of transformed there, but really... Uh, mm. <laughs> I guess. No. I'm so bad on camera. <laughs> um, I mean, so the first single was a song that originally our drummer Ryan wrote, and that changed a lot from beginning to end, but... Uh, well, yeah, I damn. mean, we just kind of like, we'll tw like that song in particular, like, he had it, I came in, tweaked it, and just kind of made it like, you know, solidified it, kind of, and then it, it, yeah, you know, and it became one of like, our favorite songs and the first single so yeah pretty crazy what's the name of the album your world won't listen is the name of the album and uh we had some trouble with that for a little bit because i'm like a huge like smiths fan too so uh with that whole uh the world won't listen compilation and stuff like that i was like uh do we is this too is this too much of a nod to that and we're like ah don't worry about it so as long as you don't get a cease and desist letter, you're good, right? Like, we'll see. <laughs> what are some other musical influences that you can hear on the record? Ooh, what do you think? Um, go with Metallica is a pretty obvious one. That's kind of always been a thing with the band. Uh, we tried to kind of go almost a more like melodic, like have more like melodic rock elements too, like almost like like Sum 41 or. Lots of things. Like Nirvana. Even Nirvana. Nirvana yeah. is like my favorite band of all time. So that will like make its way. And, and, you know, sometimes it's a little, you know, maybe you won't recognize it at first. But then, you know, in the deep cuts, we'll drop like a full on, just like, oh, this is, this is like, these guys listen to Nirvana, like full on, you know. So with 30 minutes to a Warped Tour set, how do you go about choosing your set list? Uh, well, we've kind of like, we've written a set list for... Warp Tour, uh, you know, we know that the majority of these kids are going to be brand new to us, so we're playing stuff that maybe will be a little bit more accessible, so definitely the stuff off the negatives and stuff off the record that, you know, isn't even out yet, so, uh, but we know there's also going to be hardcore kids coming out and they want to hear the old stuff, so we're playing a few of the older tunes. We mix it up quite a bit, but we're sticking to what we have every day, we'll probably be mostly like the same set list but yeah so i mean we'll change we'll probably tweak one or two songs here and there and but i'm pretty happy with the set list i yeah. think it's a bit, a good mix of everything totally. when can fans uh, expect the new album september 9th i think yeah. so it's almost like two years to it's less than two years less than two years yeah. from the last record but that came out yeah september yeah, like as well september 20 something like 2014 so well, st stay tuned September 9th. September 9th. September 9th. Cruel Hand. Check it out. This is Jackie. Thanks to In the Key of Change and Chorus.fm.